This ability to speak and communicate complex ideas is key to the success of our species. We take it for granted, but every word we utter relies on tiny adjustments inside our throats. Joy's daughter, Ariella, has volunteered to have her larynx filmed in action. So what we've got is a device that looks down the larynx by dropping down behind the back of the nose so we can look at the larynx from above. Worst part is over, okay? Ah. Just great. When Ariella makes a high note, you'll notice that the vocal folds are much tenser. They're closer together and they've been stretched. And go high. E and go low. E when she makes a lower note, there's more of a gap between them, and they flutter more visibly. Good. You want to do something funky, doing with a beatbox? beatbox? Oh, yeah, let's try that. Ready? And go. So why do we love the larynx so much? It's a structure that sits in the middle of your throat, and it's probably the most important least known structure in the human body. Okay, that was fun, Ariel. Well done. Ah! Oh! Tissue, <laughs> tissue. Everything I know about the larynx I owe to my dear friend and colleague, Jeff Leitman, who was actually my graduate school mentor. The larynx is responsible for protecting the airway. If it doesn't work, you couldn't do a host of functions. You couldn't lift a heavy object. You couldn't go to the bathroom and poop if you were constipated and a lady couldn't give birth to a baby without somebody helping. Think about this. The next time you're in the bathroom, you're on the bowl, and you have to poop, but you're constipated, what you have to do is close your vocal folds. Hey! Those folds are closed, and you're able to use intra-abdominal pressure to help nature do its duty, so to speak.